G'day viewers, how the devil are ya? This is another setup of my drum heater with the vaporizing oil burner inside. For this one I've turned the drum upright and I've put the chimney at the bottom which is a bit different. It worked really well so have a look how it goes. As you can see here, inside the drum I've got my vaporizing burner which is the technological breakthrough of a piece of uh, bent exhaust pipe with a plate over the end with a gap so the air doesn't directly impinge downwards onto the oil pool. It's as difficult and as complicated as that. What I'm also doing here is I've put the chimney right in the bottom of the drum. Obviously this is against conventional thinking but my idea is that this may allow a lot of trapped heat to remain at the top of the drum and be radiated off and put to better use. I notice a lot of people tend to get rid of the uh, the exhaust as soon as possible by having the, the chimney with a very short exit out a wall or something and to me that's just sending out a lot of useful heat that could be put to work in warming the area that you're trying to heat up. So what I'm going to do is see how the uh, reverse flow chimney works and we'll go from there. Again, this is my standard metered setup. I've got that little electronic timer sitting there uh, on top of the battery. It pumps the oil out of that container. It controls how long that oil pump or fuel pump as it were cycles on and off this is a pulse type pump it's not a motorized pump so it basically cycles on and off under normal operation anyway we've got the blower there with the hose going up to send the air into the burner and the oil pipe on the top the oil is simply pumped up and dribbled in and then the airflow blows it along into the burner now obviously this is not a permanent setup i'm doing different things with these every couple of days uh, so you would obviously have this a little bit less Heath Robinson type of thing than what I've got it but the idea here is to show you what's possible and how this can work now I've set the uh, drum which I had horizontally before I've obviously turned it around vertically and the main thing is that this gives you this nice flat area on the top some people might like to put something like a cooking plate there or even sit something up there like a fan to blow the heat off you may not have the room to have the drum horizontally it really doesn't matter the burner inside is is all the same and I'm hoping with this reverse flow it might even uh, get a bit more heat out of the thing here's a look at the base of the uh, drum with the chimney I've just got that uh, propped up there that's a bit of three inch uh, supposedly stainless truck exhaust but somehow I've melted to get it to rust quite well probably having the stuff glowing red hot a few times has done that this other stand there is just to prop it up and stop the thing falling over when I don't want it to but as you can see it's right down the bottom of the drum not conventionally as it'll be at the top so I want to see if that creates any problems I don't think it will seeing the air is going to be pressurized for the burner and it'll all be coming directly in so once it's basically turned to exhaust it shouldn't make really much difference at all so I'll fire it up and see how it goes okay so we're off and running I've got the uh, air choked right down till I can get the fuel a bit hot once that I see that it is running properly I'll throw the lid on the top and uh, we'll go from there the oil is running as well so that'll just fuel it up and it should sustain at a nice even output okay so as you can see we're all fired up and we're ready to go it is pulsing a little bit because I've got the air pretty low so I can get near it to film this but I'll throw the top on and see how she heats up
first, I've invented a musical waste oil burner. Not only will this thing keep you warm as toast in winter, but if you live near the ocean, it'll also warm the ships to keep away from the rocks. Talk about multifunctional. It looks like the chimney idea is working quite well. I can see that uh, where it's not sealed, but the flame is exiting there. The uh, chimney is pumping out a little bit of smoke that there is, so it's obviously working. And as well as that, the drum is just throwing off an insane amount of heat. You can probably see in the upper left of the frame there, the drum is starting to glow red. And this thing, I am just amazed. I would not have thought that it would have put out that much heat in the vertical position. I really think this upside down chimney type thing works just amazingly well. Now, as regular viewers of my channel would know, we get a whole load of idiots and safety zealots wanting all sorts of warnings to keep the morons alive. Well, here's today's safety tip. If you've got one of these things fired up, particularly indoors, don't go throwing petrol or gasoline on it. Here's why. Imagine the mess that'd make you a bedroom ceiling if you had it fired up indoors. I see a lot of people on these different heater burner videos going around with infrared thermometers saying, oh, it's so many hundred degrees. Well, big bloody deal. A match is about 1200 degrees and that sure as shit ain't gonna warm your shed. It's not about what the temperature is, it's about the amount of output. And I can tell you, just seeing that amount of output there and standing here, there's not too many places this isn't gonna warm up that are any smaller than a stadium. This thing is really cranking out the heat. Yep, it's pretty clear the upside down chimney is working really well. Because the air going in is virtually pressurised, it's got to go out wherever it can, and if that means going down, well, that's obviously where it's going. This thing sounds like a, a combination between a beach whale and a dying walrus. So let's have a look inside and see what's going on in there. Now it's like a fire breathing dragon after he's run up a hill I reckon. What's absolutely amazing with this is now I've got the lid off and the majority of the heat's got to be going straight up. It's still too damn hot to stand anywhere near this thing. The amount of heat this thing is putting out is just insane. I don't know whether it's extra or efficient or what's going on, but for the amount of oil that's being consumed and what that burner is actually combusting, the heat output is just amazing. Everything with in about 15 feet around this thing is just getting hot to the touch. I've even seen an industrial plastic bag starting to wilt and that's at least 18 feet away. Now, in doing our best to keep the idiots and the whinges satisfied, here's another safety tip. If you build one of these and you think it's looking a bit dirty, don't try and clean it with spray degreaser while it's running. Imagine the mess that'd make if you had that going in your kitchen or laundry, wherever some idiot might be likely to fire one of these things up. This would have to be one of the most practical and effective applications of an oil burner I've ever done. This thing kicks out heat like there's no tomorrow. I reckon I've lost about five pounds in the last half hour or so videoing this. 
hopefully you've enjoyed it. If that's the case, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it around to somebody that this might be useful for. Thanks again for watching. hot. I've got to be crazy doing this shit in the middle of summer. What the hell am I thinking? Ah, yeah. ah, shut the bastard off. Thank Christ. Man's dying out here. Unbelievable. Things you do. Gee, I hope they appreciate this.